Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I hope you're all doing well. I just thought I would jump on here and yeah, just document this. I don't know how I'm gonna share this. It's definitely not gonna be as thorough as my last cycle, but today is the day we start our second round of IVF. So since I've ovulated twice since my last cycle, I thought I would take a pregnancy test. As you can see, it's negative. I did three, just to be triple sure, and yeah, it is negative. So we've went ahead and started our downreg injections this morning. I felt very mixed towards this. I'm not gonna lie. I felt a bit like, mm, do I want to? Do I want to do it again? You know, is this the right time? You know, are we informed enough? Is there a possibility that we could get? a more thorough service from a different clinic all of those kind of things because i have hashimoto's because i have endo i think my position and my situation is a little bit different to maybe other people so i was humming and hawing but in the end we've decided let's just go ahead with our second round of um, nhs funded ivf it's exactly the same protocol you never know and i'll do everything that i can do in the background you know i'll try and get my thyroid antibodies down continue to eat gluten-free dairy-free continue to work on the inflammation in my body just to try and better the chances as much as possible but as you know at the end of the day it, it is your body's going to do what it wants even if you try and lead it down a path and i've decided we're going to reach out to a consultant who works with women who specifically have autoimmune when they're going through fertility as well because i feel like that's going to make us feel a lot more reassured and we'll just cross the next bridge when we come to it if this round doesn't work i'm hoping it does but also i'm not feeling super optimistic i'm not gonna lie i'm just sitting editing my new york wipe my laptop my new york vlog i haven't got my ring on yet because i haven't been in the shower and got ready I'm just going to take you along this journey very informally. I'm not going to go into the realms of it, I don't think, but I still want to document this. Hopefully this is the round. But yeah, got my smoothie. I'm going to show you what I've put my injections in this time because like my, medica my medicine and my injections, because last time I had a whole big box and this time I thought, I don't want that in my kitchen. I don't want to be reminded every time I walk into the kitchen because I don't want IVF to be my identity. I just want it to be a short part of my day and then move on. So yeah, I have got my injections, my needles, my shops, and my medication in a little festive box, which is very unassuming. Good morning. So it is the next day. I had my injection yesterday, as I said. Oh no, I've, had a, I've got a click on my new jumper. I have had day two injection, which is good. I feel like I'm in a more accepting place, which is brilliant because i need to be for this to be a success don't mind me i'm having some sushi it is half 10 in the morning we are about to leave to go to grantley hall which is in ripping which is a gorgeous venue for an event with harrogate spring water and bax botanicals i think which will be lovely i have got my little christmas skirt on i'm gonna put my red lip on once i've had my sushi and i've got some gorgeous boots that i got from primark i need to show you i'll wear my uggs to go but look at those i seen them in primark yesterday and i thought you are stunning they had the plain sock and then they had the crushed velvet sock and i thought yep yeah, bit of me bit of festive just gonna get the parcel oh, okay thank you so yeah like i said i'm gonna just put my books on to travel um it's only an hour and a half away and finish my sushi put my red lip on and yeah just have a really nice few hours i am I have got a bit of cramp because naturally I'm due on so once these injections kick in then bye bye period but for now we're taking paracetamol. Who do you know that has sushi at 10.30 a.m. Yeah me. How cute we've just got this from my best friend and it says put me under the tree for good luck yeah. and yeah and it's a baby blanket and apparently that's really good luck so it's going under there with the tiny New York booties that we got just for extra good luck. They're there and now we're going to put this under as well. How cute! <laughs> we're nearly there. Ooh, my blusher looks a bit excessive. Did you think I had too much blush on? Uh, well, why do you say? 
so we're nearly there i've just put my lips on i've been editing my new york vlog the whole way being productive <laughs> meanwhile i'm trying to keep my eyes open Nicole, i didn't really sleep very well last night but what's new well i'm not gonna sleep better but like that was, last night was bad oh. and i'm gonna fall asleep now Outfit, little bit of festive, the sparkles and the velvet and the You feeling ready for you to make your cocktail? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chuffed a bit. I'm even going to put some of this on. I don't even know if it's going to work. Oh my god, it is! I'm putting every garnish on. Oh, that's it. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, do you know I've got to have a cherry on? Oh, well. freaking hell, it's the most garnished cocktail you've ever seen. That's okay, it's called Christmas is Coming. <laughs> oh, so is that why yours hasn't got the white head on? <laughs> I put every garnish on mine. <laughs> 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 to the car now hopefully Connor got plenty of footage because I was too busy socializing yeah. enjoying life uh -huh. cameraman duty me did you have a nice time I did did you yeah oh. what did you see I just said to Beth then I said you're absolutely chuffed a bit from today she was like panicking like oh I'm nervous I don't know if I'm gonna want to go there's a <laughs> no, she's a nightmare to get her anyway but it's when she's there like, you I'm love it so like I love being in my own bubble at home and then when I leave and I go somewhere fun like this I end up having the best time ever and I see one of my like friends as well and her friend mm. and we had such a nice time it was lovely it was really nice to be fair it was a lovely event and we met some nice people which is always good and then we had a look around and we've got a little brochure potentially to look at weddings. Yeah. It's the first time. So I'm going to start cutting back on expensive, not expensive, like meals out and all that. It's 
fine by me. <laughs> I want to be a princess in this lovely oh, Bradley Hall. The castle. So yeah, we've not, like, you know, since the last vlog, I mean, to be honest, I'm editing my New York vlog and we're getting engaged, Con, and I don't really say much more about it. <laughs> and I was saying, like, to Rachel, my friend, we basically got engaged and then it was like, right, okay, like, on to the next, like, what we're doing now, because we're in New York and we wanted to make the most out of our lovely holiday. Um, but of course, we're so excited and we're still very much in the engagement bubble, but we haven't had a lot of discussion about what we want to do wedding wise obviously just starting my next IVF cycle it's very much that's where focus Ooh, is that part of the spa once we get the results of like once we know the outcome of the IVF then we can maybe have like a little bit more thought towards the wedding hang on hang on who is in the car with his coat on and having his cake already there's two of them, so... They're the ones for me, isn't it? No, you can't have it. Loves it. So yeah, we had an absolutely stunning time. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to take my boots off and my sparkly skirt. And I'm going to put my tracksuit bottoms on. Because that's how we do. Do you reckon? Mm -hmm. Get nice and windy? Mm -hmm. I'll take this coat off. Yeah. Did you enjoy the event? It was lovely, really. It was really nice. And Quite me fun. and Connor don't actually like drink that much at all, ever. Yeah. So, the fact that it was an event about mocktails mm. was brilliant. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I want to say is, I brought my perfume with me to put on before I went in, and I didn't put it on. So that's not good, is it? Nope. So yeah, anyways, going to head home. I'm uh, going to continue editing my New York vlog. And yeah, just we, we really need to get festive, Con. Don't worry, do you want to put that in there? Where you going? I'm just feeling like we're not that festive at the minute but I think coming here today was a great start in getting festive I mean how much more festive do you need to be than going to New York put it that way but yeah I think there's just a lot going on a lot of the time that's been the case for us for a long while hasn't it there's What's been that? like a lot going on oh always they're not going to tip over are they hopefully not can you just hold on can you help us pull my just oh, this is. Just put it off by there, please. Freaking. What the? <laughs> oh, I see a woman. <laughs> eh? I don't know if you'll be able to. <coughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we are back from the most stunning day, super festive and lovely. We popped in the MS, got some food to have for dinner, and we've had it. And as you can see, it's pulled a little bit of my lipstick off, but I was dead excited. I wanted to show you. I've just got this big delivery, and Connor's just took the box downstairs and wanted to show you. It's actually from JJ's house, which is specifically a website for like wedding party wear occasion wear prom dresses and i had to order some because they are absolutely sorry guys i just realized i've got lipstick on my forehead where i can kiss my lips and then kiss my forehead good times great times for me yeah so i ordered some because i thought it'd be great for the festive period maybe for new year's eve and they're absolutely beautiful I am really, really excited to try these on. And yeah, I'm going to show you them now just because I'm really excited. But then I'll probably try them on in daylight tomorrow. And I'm really excited to say that JJ's house have sponsored this part of the video. So thank you so much. So the first one I got is this stunning, really heavy, really amazing quality sequin dress. It is gorgeous. Look at the way that is. Oh what look at the way that's sparkling and it's got a really nice slip underneath it it's got like a layer underneath so it's actually going to keep you really warm and it's got this really nice like halter neck design which is like really flattering so that is the first dress i really just love the look of it being maxi and uh to be honest it feels really nice and more importantly not itchy and guys if you can hear the bath in the background that's the bath so Hope it doesn't put you off. I like the sound of water in the background, so hopefully you do as well. So that's the first one. I can't wait to try that on. I saw this little silvery black number and I thought, hmm, I feel like that could be a really nice vibe. So it's like glittery material 
and it's rouged along the side which is always very flattering as you can see and it's one strap and I thought that would be absolutely gorgeous with some really nice like diamante and silver jewellery some really nice heels you could even wear um some tights with that and some boots if you wanted to as well it's a mini dress but like I say, if you weren't being brave and you didn't want to have your legs out, I would definitely put some really nice thick black, not thick, but some um, opaque tights on with that. Next one I got, oh, it looks so nice on the website. I absolutely loved it. I am a massive lover of velvet. Anything velvet in Christmas time, I'm here for and anything diamond -y. So it's a very cute mini dress and at the bottom it's got this little diamante detail and on the sleeves it's also got diamante detail and it's almost got an inbuilt like bodice design so it doesn't have like the bone structure of like a like corset bodice thing but it has like the look of it which i really love because sometimes it can be quite claustrophobic so i think that's a really lovely dressy one i feel like that's christmas party unreal vibes then i am a sucker for black but then i seen this lovely red sequined dress and i thought oh my god i think that's absolutely stunning this one actually comes with cups in so you don't need to worry about a bra which is always brilliant again the fabric feels really heavy and thick and then the lining feels super soft and gorgeous as well and this is just a really nice mini dress but as you can see at the bottom it's got almost like a little bit of a crossover design where it ruches down the side and then at the back it ruches too so this is really flattering on your bum and also really flattering across your body and um, I feel like any ruching just really like snatches you so I thought you know what bit of red for Christmas you literally cannot go wrong so we're loving that and then last but by no means least I picked up this stunning one there's a bit of a theme going on I've never been a one shoulder galley like I've never been like obsessed with one shoulder dresses but I just was feeling the one shoulderedness so as you can see this is another one shouldered sequin dress and it has some sequins hanging off it you'll see better when I try it on and it's really just a nice mini dress looks absolutely beautiful again lined gorgeously and it's got a little bit of a gap here so when it's on it'll be really flattering i'm really excited to try these on i'm tempted to try them on right now but i think no we need some natural lighting so you can see it in in hd that's what we want and i think i would 100 percent wear this bare-legged or i would actually wear it with tights and i would wear it on christmas day because it feels really comfy um, so yeah that's everything I got I'm absolutely chuffed I am going to jump off now we've had a great day it's been amazing I'm going to hop in the bath I'm going to relax day two of injections done that's one step closer to the end goal fingers crossed and I will see you in the morning where I will show you all of my wonderful dresses from JJ's and I feel like they're going to be a vibe and I feel like you're going to love them guys guys oh my god please i have just got ready to show you my jj's house haul and oh my god this is my favorite one it's a maxi dress and don't worry guys i am gonna include all the links below and and i've got a cheeky discount code for you you'll be so happy but i've had one hell of a morning that's why i haven't vlogged just yet i've been doing lots of boring life admin um yeah things that are just super boring and but need to be done so anyways it's about lunchtime now and i thought let me get ready let me put a bit of makeup on i'm going out a bit later on for my cousin's birthday we're just meeting up as a family and i thought let me try on my new jj's house dresses oh my god let me put you down so i can show you how stunning this is like i want to go out on it today it's beautiful and it fits like a glove oh I'm obsessed. We're in the spare room, but sorry, can you cope? I'm gonna put these little diamond-y Christmassy shoes on with it. Like even with no shoes on, I was like, this is unreal, the fit of it. The way it feels, it's not scratchy, it fits perfectly, and it just falls beautifully. Oh, how am I gonna show you the bottom? What I might do is I might insert a horizontal clip as well, just to show you, because I'm so 
oh my god I'm over the moon like I love this so much and if you haven't heard of JJ's house before they do brides dresses bridesmaids occasion wear they do prom dresses they do wedding guest dresses they do little girls dresses they do everything absolutely everything and the quality is sensational I'm gonna go and grab my phone so I can do some vertical footage so that you can see the whole thing because we need the whole thing for this one guys here is the next dress can you cope can you actually cope with this so it is a little bardo velvet dress this is the one with almost like the bodice in it the little corset some little corset detail in there it's got the sleeves that are off the shoulder and then it's got some more little detail in down here and it's just the most stunning little mini dress oh i absolutely adore this how gorgeous is that and you can wear a bra like you could wear like a strapless bra underneath it um i think i probably would wear a little strapless bra or you can just wear it as it is it feels really secure obviously i mentioned that jj's house are occasion wear they are wedding wear they are bridal they're bridesmaids so i'll be thinking about that when we get married prom but they're also christmas and new year and as you can see i'm on the christmas and new year flex oh it just keeps getting better what about this little red number can we please let me just look in the mirror at myself ruche detailing here as i showed you last night and it's got like a little crossover effect and then it's got ruched up the back so it makes your bum look lovely jubbly and it's one shoulder and it's actually got pads in so you don't need to wear a bra and it feels really really comfy so that's amazing i'm honestly so impressed by the fact that this is all sequins i picked a lot of sequin dresses it doesn't feel itchy on my skin and the quality of the lining is absolutely stunning so oh, i'm just, like literally i'm obsessed and let's just pretend i did tan my legs for this because you girls not had tan on for about six months but the good thing about these dresses is you could definitely layer with tights and boots i think that would look gorgeous as well excuse me excuse me this is beyond beautiful it fits like a glove again i've got space if i wanted to put a bit of a strapless bra on i adore this slit detail where you've got a bit of skin i adore this shoulder detail oh and the sequins are just so nice and now i'm wondering where i'm going in all of these dresses because now i need more plans and i feel like this dress especially would look amazing with really nice thick tights not really thick tights like shiny tights that are opaque and the boots i wore yesterday let me know in the comments which is your favorite we've still got one to go by the way but i'm absolutely obsessed the way these sequins catch the light as well jj's house has got me feeling like a princess how stunning is that neckline i just feel like that looks so flattering i love like the silver glitter on the black and i feel like you could wear black shoes silver shoes lovely silver jewelry oh i feel like it would just be unreal and you could easily throw a nice black blazer on and go out and take your blazer off when you want to party i just don't know what my favorite one is each one just feels amazing and the quality it's unmatched it feels so nice one of the things i hate is when things are like a little bit see through and honestly these are all absolutely gorgeous oh my god guys i literally can't pick what dress i love the most they're all absolutely beautiful please comment below and let me know what your favorite dress was but like i said i have a stunning discount code which gets you 10 percent off you can use code beth on jj's house website and it'll get you 10 percent off site-wide which is amazing i have actually linked everything that i've tried on so you can find it really easy down below oh my god i haven't got my ring on i haven't put my engagement ring on i keep forgetting to do that because i take it off for bed let me just go and get it there we go that's better and it matches all the outfits perfectly i should have had it on the whole time so yeah i hope you really really enjoyed that little haul i hope if you're looking for something for christmas or new year or you're looking for a prom dress or a bridesmaid dress or just an outfit to wear to feel really good or to go to a wedding then you check out jj's house because honestly now that i know about jj's house you best believe i'm going to be shopping there for all of my special occasions i really feel like i want to go out now I want to go out it's midday and i want to go out so that's it guys i'm gonna end this vlog here because knowing me it'll be longer than i thought it was gonna be i really hope you've enjoyed this vlog i really hope you enjoyed coming along with me for my first few days of my brand new ivf cycle 
I'm going to be talking a lot more about that over on my Instagram and also here on YouTube because I know a lot of that content really resonates and helped a lot of you last time. We're going to be positive and we're going to just keep living our best life. We're not going to put our life on hold, we're going to keep living our best life as much as we can. Oh my god, my arm's aching. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that hope you enjoyed coming to the event yesterday and i hope you enjoyed this haul i've loved shooting this haul i've loved this video actually i feel like i need to do more videos like this let me know if you liked it by commenting down below liking this video and subscribing and until next time guys i will see you soon bye guys